Now, after the storms pounded the Pine Belt, several local business owners were out evaluating the damage done to their businesses. WJTV's Candace Cole spoke with one local business owner's son as he was helping crews board up his dad's three-decade-old convenience store. She continues our Storm Team 12 severe weather coverage tonight. Melanie, I'm standing right in front of the bypass grocery and Exxon right here on the corner of Highway 98 and Columbia Purvis Road, where you can see behind me the potential tornado that ripped through here earlier this afternoon has caused a lot of damage. Now, I spoke with the owner's son who says not only this building, but the restaurant next door, which is Father Lisa's, has taken a huge hit and it's all just two days before Christmas. The whole front entire part of his building is gone. Um, the restaurant that he leases also sustained damage, so both of them are out of commission. Kyle Sinclair, son of the owner of Bypass Grocery in Exxon, says his father's store, which he's owned and operated for 35 years now, sustained heavy damage following Tuesday afternoon storm. It's like a third world around here. Everybody's pretty much every business on the bypass here was gone and uh, or sustained, sustained some kind of uh, damage. Kyle is an accountant at a firm just down the street. That building was also damaged, but he says his father's business took the biggest hit. The roof on the front part of the convenience store is damaged, and the roof on the north end and the uh, west end of the restaurant is damaged. And we actually just put some tape around the uh, restaurant because we feel that the uh, north wall could collapse. Now, left to clean up and pick up the pieces, Kyle thanks his neighbors for lending a helping hand. We had neighbors, you know, provide us with uh, leftover uh, plywood that they've had for prepping for hurricanes. As for the next step, Kyle says. Pick up, enjoy Christmas holidays, and uh, do what we do and get back to work. Now the rain is still coming down out here and there's not a whole lot of traffic left out here on Highway 98, but the police are still out here and will continue to be out here through the remainder of the night into the morning hours. Reporting in Marion County, Candace Cole, WJTV News Channel 12.